I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. From URC SA, Takane, under the leadership of Reverend T. I. Liputla. As of Apanung, we are at the cross. We find our scripture from John 19, verse 28 up to 29. The fifth word uttered at the cross by Jesus Christ, our Savior. It reads as follows, After this, Jesus, knowing the, that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, he said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine is sitting there, and they filled it with sponge, put it on his soap, and put it on his mouth. Now, this is not the first time Jesus was offered something to drink. Jesus refused wine as it is written in the book of Matthew and Mark. A wine that is normally used for when someone is in pain before the crucifixion, crucifixion where you are given something to numb your pains, something that will make sure or make it easier for you to bear the pains. Find Jesus Christ refusing. We also find a prophecy being fulfilled, as it is written in the in the book of Psalms, that they gave me vinegar for my thirst. We find Jesus knowing this, saying, "I am this," and they offered as it is been prophesied. We find them offering Jesus using a hisop. The same hisop that was used by the Israelites. And there was a plague, as it is written in the book of Exodus, that they will smear the blood of the lamb at their doorsteps using a hisop. And the angel of death will pass over them. Hence we find today, we call this Passover. We are seeing another fulfillment. A lamb is being sacrificed for our sins. Being sacrificed for our lives. The same hisop that David said, Wash me with the hyssop so I may be clean and pure as snow. We are seeing or we are getting our assurance that truly this is the lamp, that truly this is how we'll be purified. Jesus uttered the words, I thirst. Now the Greek word used for thirst is dipsao. Dipsao can be figuratively meaning not just the thirst physically, but thirst for the eagerness to complete a task. The eagerness to refresh the, 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 the soul or to strengthen the soul. So Jesus will be directly referring to the physical pains that is feeling at the cross. We find Jesus uttering the words, uttering the words, I thirst. This is the same Jesus who told the people in Jerusalem that come to me those who thirst for I am the living water for I am the source of the living water and those who come to me shall never thirst. 
This is the same Jesus who told a woman in Samaria, a Samaritan woman, who you are speaking to, you will ask, I give you water, for I give you water and you shall never thirst. This is the same Jesus today who says, I thirst at the cross. The same Jesus. Jesus is speaking to us to say, I am the source of life. For whoever comes to me shall never thirst. Jesus is saying to us, I will bear your pain, bear your sufferings, so you do not have to bear the sufferings of this world. Jesus is saying to us, I will take away those pains that you have, for I thirst, for I thirst for your civilization, for I thirst for your peace, for I thirst for your better being, for I thirst for you, for I thirst for you, my child who has given up on life, for I thirst for you. For I test of for, for, for he who is seeing no hope, having to rely on technology, as we cannot interact and go to churches as we normally do, because of a virus that has taken over and shook the world called COVID nineteen. Jesus is saying to us, "I test I will die for your sins." Jesus is saying, I will bear the brunt. Jesus is saying, you do not have to feel this pain for I am here for you. For if you come to me, you shall find a life. I am the source of life. I thirst so that you can have a source of life. I bear the pains for you so that you can find peace. I bear the pains for you to find hope. I bear the pain for you so that you can look up to the next day. I bear the pains. I thirst. Amen.